This activity is to make a travel brochure for your place that you're picking for your project. Um, and you can do it on paper, but you also have the option to do it digitally. So I just kind of wanted to talk you through the digital option um, so you don't get confused. So when you make a travel brochure, they fold into three sections to fold in like this. So you're going to see on the Google Slides um, something that looks similar to this that's on my computer right now. Um, the first page and then there's a second page because what we would do is print these off double-sided to make one brochure, okay? And something to remember with travel brochures is they have lots of pictures in them, so we want to make sure we include lots of pictures, which is why doing it on the computer can be a little more fun than just doing it on paper. So what you're going to have first is your front cover, and that oddly enough, is all the way over here on this right-hand side. So uh, for your front cover, you just want it to be introducing your place, okay? Um, have a really catchy picture so that people are going to want to pick up your travel brochure, okay? Then you have the back cover. So these are just your final things that you want someone to see, um, maybe some packing advice, stuff like that, okay? The inside page. This inside page is what comes in for your, it folds in, okay? So this is going to be like the second thing they see pretty much. And then they'll look over here most likely. But typically when we open a brochure, we look on the front, then we flip it open and it's like, oh, we see this, okay? So you want this to be like your second most like eye-catching. Then our second page is everything opened up in the inside of it. So we have our inside page cover. We have the inside middle. And then we have this inside fold-in flap, okay? So this is when they actually fold this part out, that fold-in flap. You still wanna make sure you include the um, main components for your country, which would be um, about their government, economics, culture, language, all that sort of stuff. Um, but with doing it here on the internet, you have that opportunity to insert an image and search from the web. So let's say I wanted to make mine over Texas. Then I can come insert an image here for Texas and I would erase this font and just say like all about Texas. And I'd wanna add more to that, but that's the general gist. Then, you know, this um, next part, this inside page is a really important part. So I'm gonna erase that title and I'm gonna say, you know, Texas facts. And I'm gonna tell you about like our state flower and I'm gonna tell you about our flag and I'm gonna tell you about like our song and all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, when we became our own country and got our independence, when we became part of the US, like all that stuff would go there in Texas facts. And then I would decide what I'd wanna put here for back cover. Like maybe I'm gonna do like what to pack. And I might break that down into seasons because Texas is kind of weird, right? So I might do like what to pack in the summer, what to pack in the fall, what to pack in the win uh, yeah, winter, what to pack in the spring, because it can look very different here in Texas. Um, and then same thing on these. So I'm going to erase these and whatever my title is going to be is what I want these to now be. Okay, and just make sure you put those in strategically. If you need to fold a piece of paper so you can see exactly where they're going to go, that's a really good strategy for this. But I love doing them online because you can do this insert image and use those images right there from the web. So have fun making your um, travel brochure, whether it be on paper and you upload a picture for us or it be on the computer using your Google Slides tools. Have fun with it.